Okay, friends, Marty up north. Hope everybody's doing good. Uh, it's uh, March 25th, and so everybody's getting itchy. Everybody's thinking about getting out hiking. And uh, that's the theme of the videos that I've been doing lately is they're all about getting out and getting ready to go out. And so some people right now are checking gear. Some people are uh, dehydrating food and preparing meals. And what I want to talk about today is... Uh, these little guys here, um, you know, if you can, if you can even find them, you'll be lucky. And if you can find them, you know, they're uh, seven ninety nine for the little ones in Canada. Sometimes eight ninety nine. I've paid as much as eleven ninety nine for these things. The big ones are more expensive. And what I'm going to show you today is a really cool hack to refill these. All right, so let's talk about fuels. Um, <laughs> a topic that my wife would go yay. Now, fuels are near and dear to me because I live in Alberta. I've lived in Alberta my all, my whole adult life. I'm a chemical engineer, and here in Alberta, we're blessed with an abundance of hydrocarbons, you know, otherwise known as oil and natural gas. And I spent the majority of my life working up north extracting fuels uh, that, got, that got separated and purified and sold. Okay, so why did I share all that information? Well... Um, as I said, the heavier the, the product, the, the more energy it is. So in the good old days, butane was the preferred uh, product. And the beauty of butane is it contains a lot of energy and it can be stored in a canister that doesn't, um, that doesn't, that's not very thick. So this is, this is pure butane in a little canister and, you know, it can hold like two times atmospheric pressure in there. So I don't need a lot of metal. It's almost a Coke can and I can keep a butane liquid. Now, the problem with butane, like we said, is that if it's colder than, minus, than zero degrees, it stays liquid. So in the summer, it's not a problem. You can use butane because it'll vaporize as it comes out of this can or this canister. But as it gets colder, it tends to stay liquid. So that's why you see on this canister, this is a summer blend with 10% propane. Nowadays, when you look at the manufacturers, they're called all season fuel blend. And I know that MSR uses 80% butane and 20% propane year round. And that's a good mix of um, vaporizing capability, energy content, and the strength of the canister needed. Now what I'm gonna show you on this video is how to take pure butane and put it in this canister. And remember, so now I'm gonna make a mix, I'm gonna have a pure butane, which means that my mix is only good for summer. So in the winter, I'm still gonna to have to buy canisters like this with the butane propane mix, but in the summer, I can refill these, put a label on them, call them pure butane, and I'll have a cheap alternative for summer and the advantage is like i said butane has a little bit higher heat content so for the same amount of weight i'm going to have more energy now to do that um i already had one of these valves and i'll sh and these valves you can buy these for about eight bucks on uh, amazon and the purpose of this valve was to connect Unfortunately, these these uh, fittings here are, are sort of an oddball fitting. It's a 7 uh, dimension. But with these valves, what it allowed me to do is, I'm not going to th thread it all in because I'm at home right now, but it allowed me to connect a large canister, or sorry, a, a, an empty canister to a full canister. And I could fill from the f full canister down into the empty canister. Now the trick to doing that is if both canisters are at the same pressure and at the same temperature, um, they're going to just want to equalize and, and the flow will stop flowing. But if this one is empty and at much lower pressure and cold, and this one is full and a little bit warmer and a higher pressure, when I connect them and I open the valve, the, the fluid will flow from this one to that one. So that's the trick that I'm going to show you today. The key to being successful in refilling using butane is making sure that you have um, a warm canister that flows into a cold, can cold empty. 
warm, higher pressure, full into a empty, lower pressure, cold canister. Now, there's this valve, but uh, if you look at these canisters, they come with a different um, filling nozzle and that's where I have this second adapter and this adapter goes on there and actually with this adapter which adapts from there to there this adapter could actually be used directly I could attach my my stove on top of that and I can run my stove directly off my butane but that's not what I want to do so there, there's a lot of different adapters online but I'm using this one that goes on there and this valve and I'll show you that we'll go to the shop to do this operation actually I'll cheat a little bit I'll show you how it can be done in here it's not a little little um, little little butane leakage in the house never killed anyone I've been breathing it my whole life I'm just gonna put this first valve on there and closed it so open closed and then there's a an alignment port and if you put it on there and turn there it's on so in this format now I can actually open this and let a little butane out I'm not gonna do that and actually if I took uh, if I if I if I took this valve out, I'll show you that. I'll go get us. I'll go get a mini stove. Always easier to do this when you're not looking through the lens of a camera. Close the valve. Screw it on top of my adapter. So now I have my BRS on top of my adapter, which I will then put on top of this. And there you go. So now I could actually run this directly off of and bring this canister if I wanted to in the field and save some trouble. Now this is Woods brand. Uh, I, I think it's a, a North American brand, fairly popular. This canister is 399 but 399 for 227 grams. And I would have paid set, you know, twice as much for half, this is 100 grams. So with one of these, I can refill almost two and a half of these, and it's about a quarter the price. And I haven't looked around enough, but I've heard that you can even find these at Walmart. And somebody told me a trick. Somebody said, go to Chinatown because apparently a lot of uh, people uh, who cook uh, Asian food on things like woks and whatnot use these. So I'm not sure I'll, I'll look into that, but apparently you can find these for as low as a buck 99. So if that's the case, then it makes it very, very cheap. Now, like I said, showing 136. So I got 36 grams of product. I have room for about, you know, 80 grams of product. Basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill it up back to a gross weight of 211 and I'm not overly concerned if it gets to 212 or 13 or even 220 because like I said, this is designed for a butane propane mix. So it has a capacity for a little bit higher pressure. So if I overfill it with uh, butane, it's not going to be a big deal. Okay, so like I said, the key is to make sure that this is cold. So we're going to put it in the freezer. Honey Bunny won't be too happy, but I'm gonna put an empty canister in the freezer and let it sit there for 20 minutes. That'll make sure that I get a really cold canister. Actually, it's too bad I didn't, I should have been doing this when it was minus 20 outside because I could have just left the canisters outside. But right now, unfortunately, it's uh, not that cold. Karen, why do you have so many bananas? What do you do with these bananas? Why do you have all these bananas, Karen? Why do you have bananas? because you drive me bananas. Oh, okay. I put this uh, butane cartridge on the heat register for a few minutes to make sure it's nice and warm and that there's a really good differential between the temperature of that and the other canister that's in the freezer. Retrieve our canister. Ooh, nice and cold beauty. We'll do this in the shop, just a little bit safer.
All right, got my cold canister, my warm canister, it still feels warm. And so now I'm gonna weigh this. It's a different one than I had inside. 150 grams and it's good for uh, 211 gross. So I got room for 60 grams, but like I said, because it's butane, I can go a little bit more. So I can get this up to 220 you know, 20 and I'm not gonna be concerned about that. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna actually attach, I got the valve attached to the adapter and I'm gonna put it on here. Nice and tight. Make sure my adapter is ready to go. Put my adapter on top of my tank and lock it in place. Now, so again, repeating, warm butane, cold, uh, empty canister, partially empty, slightly higher pressure here by having heat, lower pressure here by being cold. And if I open the valve and take about 30 seconds and it'll, it'll, uh, drain in there and you can hear it and pro a gas that expands will freeze so it's better to have the valve wide open not risk freezing the valve 10 15 seconds it's really going in there I'm gonna stop it Release this canister. Oh, the valve is leaking a bit. There, closed. Now, if I remove the whole assembly quickly, and let's weigh it. Its gross weight is 211 grams. Capacity. Set it to zero. Oh, that was slower than I thought. So I need to leave it open for about, you know, probably a couple minutes. I got room for another uh, 180. I got room. I went halfway what I was trying aiming for. I was aiming for 60 grams, and I got 30 in there. Let's finish it. Tight. Open this. Let's do about a minute. A little bit of leakage, nothing. This little bit of leakage is why you want to do this inside. Actually, it's not. Let me let me fix it. It's a little too much leakage. That's better. Another 10 seconds or so. Because it's going in as a liquid, so. If I overfill it, I could bleed it off, but then I'd be wasting product. You get the point. I'm gonna stop it right now again. Tear away to zero. <laughs> Look at that, 214 grams. And like I said, if it was pure, if it was a butane propane mix, it's got a slightly lower density, uh, but a slightly higher pro, uh, um, vapor pressure. So I'm not too worried. So I just refilled two, 211 grams. 214 so I'll just write that on there uh, for for information and I'll write down uh, pure C4 and I'll know that it's uh, butane so still lots left in here probably enough for one more well actually I can tell uh, net content is 227 there's a hundred uh, I'd have to know what the gross weight was it doesn't tell me what the gross weight was I'll I could measure one and know how much is left net all right, the last thing I'm gonna do is just gonna show you, get my BRS. Screw it onto my K2. 
canister. And show you how this functions with pure butane. There's no difference practically, you know. Uh, in fact, the butane has a slightly higher heat content. You might, you know, the 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 fact that it's 100% butane instead of say just 80% butane might mean that it might need a little more oxygen or I would technically need a slightly different orifice in there but it's not enough you know to make a huge difference all right so the last step when I get back in the house is uh, I just uh, put a mark on it right now so this is uh, C4 I call it which is butane and this is uh, March 26 all right, so there you have it, a quick, easy way to refill little um, propane, butane canisters and uh, cheap, easy, and especially handy if you live in an area where there's a shortage of these. I think that during COVID-19, there's been a shortage generally in a lot of areas, So, um, but the, the bulk ones seem to be easy to find. So keep your old canisters and refill them. Hope you enjoyed the video, folks. Actually, uh, there's a card up to an old video. I, I have several videos that talk about stoves, so there's cards throughout the video talking about stoves. But anyways, uh, give me a like and hopefully a subscribe if you're a new subscriber. And by all means, provide some comments. Everybody looking forward to getting off uh, out into the wilderness. So everybody get off the beaten path and signing off.